previously. Here we go. It's time to go. Got 12 yards of dirt. This is premium topsoil with sand and compost mixed in. And we're gonna start on the most strips. Okay, now that we're done getting the dirt down, now it's time for seed. And the guys at Baron Brug, Micah, and the group there were kind enough to send me some Turf Blue Pro for the Kentucky Bluegrass, and I'm gonna be mixing it with some RPR. Now, they do have a combo style that they will sell of both the Turf Blue Pro and the RPR, but on my most strips, I've done one thing. I'm going to do a test on pre-germinating the Turf Blue Pro getting it put down because the RPR being a perennial rye is going to germinate very quickly. There's not any real need to do any pre-germination. That's going to be done pretty fast, but my goal is to get the Kentucky bluegrass seed to ger germinate just a little bit faster. So I have pre-germinated it. If you want to see how to do that, check out this video right here. Go through step by step how to do the pre-germination process to be able to get going. Then I'm going to use the combo style in my backyard eventually. But we're gonna get it out and get it down. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna be using the IFA Humate as a binder. Now in the past, 
I've used Melorganite as a binder. Melorganite's currently sitting at $22 a bag. There's no way on earth I'm going to use Melorganite at $22 a bag. See, now that's some bull The Humate works just the same, and it's sitting right around $16.99. So, much better choice, same results. Okay, so I'm going to put the RPR down first because it's pretty light. Then I'm going to put down the Kentucky Bluegrass over the top of that and then I'll finish off with some peat moss. So RPR first. Now I'm going to be putting down the Turf Blue Pro, but what I've got to accommodate for is the fact that 80% of the volume is the humate or the granular humic acid. So I've got to put it at a much higher drop rate than I would just regular seed. So I'm going to adjust that and it's probably going to turn quite a bit of this black. Okay, PSA, drop seeders are not the preferred thing to use when you're using a binder because it does not drop at a high enough rate. I've got it maxed out and that poor thing is just not keeping up. It does great with seed because the seed is just small enough, but when you combine the two with the binder, it's not putting it out a fast enough rate that I won't be here until the sun goes down and I definitely got more to do. So I'm gonna put it in the broadcast I'm going to have to <coughs> I'm going to have to be very careful that I make sure I try to keep as much seed off the sidewalk and in the gutter as I can, but I'll just put the uh, edge guard on and we'll be just fine. Thank you. 
the last step other than adding any product as far as the seed and the soil is to add the peat moss now if you've never used a peat moss roller i highly suggest you pick one up it is so choice i love driving it it is so choice if you have the means i highly recommend picking one up thank you yes sir mint if you have the means pick one up just kidding they're great machines And then we'll add the product tomorrow when we get ready to water everything. I just say I love that thing holy smokes that makes that job faster and fast quicker than quick one thing you need to make sure you, <laughs> you don't do is make a turn on a tight space because you will especially on loose dirt you'll make a gouge I'll just have to <coughs> spread that and level it back out a little bit make sure I get that seed and soil combination just a little bit tighter but I love that machine I absolutely love that tool it's not a machine but it works like it was a machine all right just got to tidy up, put the uh, couple things around it to make sure I don't get uh, anybody walking through it. But then tomorrow, it's this. If you've ever seen or heard that old men say get off my grass or keep off my grass well if this don't tell you to stay off my grass stay off my grass get off my lawn did you hear me i said get off my lawn now thank you get off my lawn Hey, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for any notifications on any future videos being posted. Also, like, share with your friends, and please comment down below. It really helps. And we'll see you in the next one.